this blog is about consumer behavior and the marketing environment. But before we get into that, let's start with what marketing is. Marketing is the management process of anticipating, identifying, and satisfying customers' requirements profitably. This is basically saying that companies to find a way to predict what customers will desire and need that will help benefit the customer and also benefit the company profitably, which was by CIM 2001. Another definition of this is that marketing is the activity of certain institutions and processes for creatively communicating, delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for the customers, partners and society at large, which is basically the same thing but going more in depth about how they come about by doing this. Consumer behavior is a very interesting topic because it can't really be measured exactly, it can be explained. And one of these explanations can be broken down to six simple, step, six simple steps, which is the decision making process. Step one, you identify a problem. Like let's say your phone case is broken, you need a phone case. So that's your problem identified, you know, new phone case. Step two, which is information search. You're trying to search for a new phone case, like let's say on Amazon, eBay, etc. That would help that would help solve your problem. Step three is then evaluating alternatives, which is basically saying finding different different products of the same type that may be more more expensive but have more better quality, less expensive, do the same thing, etc. Just just depends on you. Step four is then the purchase decision which is when you decide, okay, I'm going to buy this one, this specific product to help solve my problem from before, which is in step one. And then step five is the post, the post purchase, the post purchase decision, which is after you bought it, are you happy with it? Are you satisfied with it? Or do you want to return it back to the company and get a different, and get like a different one from a different company or a different website, etc. But if you're, and then after you've done, after the post, after the post purchase decision, you then can get feedback on that product. So you can use that information you got from that product and how it's, you know, how it's benefited you, how it's worked and the durability to then make an, an informative decision on your next purchase, which, which just depends. And your consumer behavior really depends on two factors, external and internal. External just like stuff like environment, your culture, etc. And it shows like your personality and stuff you like and what you do and stuff like that. One of the theories associated with one of the theories associated with um, consumer behavior is the Rogers diffusion theory, which is based which has five categories from step from one being people that are more likely to take more risks than buy like a newer product that no one really has to category five, which is people that are always skeptical of buying a new product because they don't know how it work and not many people have used it or they've never really heard about it before. And this is basically just saying that the more now, based on your personality, you can fit into either of these categories as it goes down. So the more, so from one to five, it gives that like, your skepticism, your skepticism, you're more skeptical about buying a new product, basically from from one, one through five. That's basically what we're talking about. Next is the market environment. The market environment is basically organizations by external forces that it depends how well they are able to market that markets and uh, markets their products to the society and this can be split into two two things internal and external and the external ones are split into another two which is macro environment and micro environment the macro environment can affect the company itself and the competitors around them whereas the micro environment only only affects the company itself so it's based so this is just saying that Depending, depending on how well, depending on how well the marketing environment is, depends on whether, like whether you would choose one company over another. So let's say one company is more affected by the environment around them and is not really doing that good. You will go to the other company which is still doing selling good stuff, doing good products, doing good quality products, etc. Stuff like that, and this can basically just affect your buying. Your buying habits because you want to buy some buy something that is best tailored to you that has great quality and best for book basically book for book basically so you won't waste out any money and this is my vlog thank you very much